Hello everyone, happy Saturday. It's a beautiful Saturday morning in Antigua. And if you follow my Instagram page, then you would know that I made bread for the first time earlier up in the week. And I did promise that on my second go, I would record a video and show you guys how I made that bread. So this is what we're doing today, guys. Let's get into the ingredients. So in this bowl right here, I have four cups of all-purpose flour. Over here, I have two tablespoons of regular butter, and your butter should be at room temperature. I have one tablespoon of sugar, and I'm using brown sugar. You can use white sugar if you please. I'll be using one teaspoon of salt. I have three cups of water here but we might not use all of them and this is lukewarm water so not boiling hot not cold not room temperature but just lukewarm and right here I have the star of the show and this is a pack of yeast this is equivalent to one tablespoon and this is the amount of yeast that we'll be putting in our bread today all right so let's get into it all right, so we're gonna go ahead and just get all our dry ingredients in the bowl with our flour. So let me just go ahead and add in my sugar. Then I'm gonna just measure out a teaspoon of my um, Then we're gonna just go ahead and open our yeast. Get that in there. And we're just gonna mix them all together. At this point, we're gonna be adding our butter and we're just going to just cut it in smaller pieces before you add it. And then we're gonna go in with our hands and we're just gonna be working the butter into our flour mixture. Once we're finished getting that butter all worked into our flour, we're going to go ahead and start adding our water. Now the reason why your water needs to be lukewarm is because that's going to aid in activating the yeast. Cold water can't activate yeast. So we're going in with some of our water first and I'm just going to use my spoon to stir. Needs a bit more water. And I'm going to be going in with my hands at this point and ensure that your hands are really clean, especially underneath your fingernails. We don't want to be kneading bread with dirty fingers. While you're kneading this dough, ensure to just pick up all the little crumbs that are in the bowl.
and your bowl should be nice and clean like this I'm gonna just go ahead and transfer my dough onto my table so that I can go ahead and work that yeast into the flour so we're gonna sprinkle our surface with a little flour add our dough and we're gonna go ahead and just work this dough so what I'm doing here is just I'm stretching it out so I can just work that yeast into it and we're gonna be needing this for about seven to ten minutes guys yes it's a long process Alright guys, so I kneaded my dough for about 8 minutes a little, or a little over and what I did is just return it to the bowl and we're going to go ahead and cover this for about 45 minutes and we're going to allow it to rise, okay? So I just went in with my kitchen towel and we're going to just leave this and when we come back, it should be nice and big. So guys, 45 minutes has passed and our dough has doubled, maybe tripled in size. And it's nice and soft. Yes. Look at that. So we're going to go ahead and get some flour on our surface once again. get our dough out here I'm just gonna knead it in a little bit yes all right so this is the part that I'm not an expert on. <laughs> it's the shaping of the bread. The last time, and I'll insert a picture of my first batch of bread. Alright, so pretty, <laughs> but um, this time I think I just need to make them a little slimmer so that when they rise again, they won't be big and puffy. So yeah, let's get to shaping our bread. Alright, so I'm just flattening it a little bit. And I'm going to cut them long way. with this piece right here and we're just going to be rolling and stretching yes so we're just rolling and stretching And a little pointed and then I'm just going to be putting it on my tray I 
and we're gonna continue doing that with all of our bread pieces just rolling and stretching just put them a little spaced out because they, they're gonna rise again so there we have it guys these are my bread shapes <laughs> um, I tried my best they're not the best but hey I guess I'll get better in time or with time so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and cover these once again with our kitchen towel and we're gonna allow them to rise for about 20 to 25 minutes all right guys so our bread has risen and they're oven ready we're gonna go ahead and push these in the oven and these should be baked in 20 to 25 minutes the most all right all right guys so my bread is finished baking and unfortunately my oven has some temperature issues so I can't get them as nice and golden brown on the top as I'd like them to be but hey it's not how it look but how it tastes right all right so let's go ahead and cut into one of our bread you guys trust me nice and soft you have a nice crust on the outside and inside is nice and fluffy if you see me holding it a kind of how trust me it just come out the oven so you know it's really hot so let me just move these across a bit I have some cheese here and some butter that I'm gonna put in this bread Ooh, it's hot guys so let's go ahead and cut into this Look at that guys I don't know about you but I like to remove my pet but today I'm gonna leave the pet in there um, for those of you who don't know what the pet is that's the the inside of the bread that's what we call it I don't know if it's in the Caribbean but here in Antigua that's what we refer to all of this extra dough inside of the bread just go ahead and spread some butter and let's go ahead and add some cheese that's enough cheese and let's just cut this in two And there we have it guys homemade bread with butter and cheese let me give this a taste yes guys mm. just delicious so yes guys there goes my bread recipe this was just my second attempt so hopefully on the third try I can get it even better so if you did enjoy this recipe, go ahead and give this video a like or a thumbs up and sure to leave me a comment just to let me know that you are here and if you're not subscribed to my channel, come on guys, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this bread and cheese guys and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye bye.